YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. Got an exciting mail call. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna do this in a series of videos because I was able to purchase an entire collection. And so it's, uh, it's a big box. It's gonna take me a while to get through this, um, much longer than I think most of you want to uh, watch one video clear through. But I'll give you a little preview here of what all is in this box. So uh, hang me with me, but this is gonna be uh, part one of an unboxing uh, series. So we're, we're gonna go through. Um, this is a collection that I was able to purchase uh, from a listing on Facebook and uh, was, was interested in it because there was a, a few um, original box Lesneys in it, a couple other things, and wasn't really interested in those, but um, the buyer included them anyway. So this is the first one. Um, I don't really know what this is. It looks like it's Midge Toy, which is not something I collect, but um, it's still brand new in the package. And let's see, it looks like a tow car, a trailer, and a race car. So that's pretty cool. A little piece there. Uh, nice graphics. Looks like it's probably fairly old. I don't know if there's a date. Yeah, 1970. So back is just plain. It's got a couple little tears here on the card, but overall not in bad shape for something that's 50 years old. So kind of a cool little piece. If you know anything about that, leave me a, a comment below. And there were a few of uh, these, I don't know, I see these come up fairly often um, in different listings. And I, I think a lot of people believe these are older Matchbox. They're not. These are from the 1992 uh, reprinting. Um, but these are still in the plastic that they came with. Um, so these are, these are all reproductions. Uh, they're still Matchbox. Um, and at this point, even from 1992, they're almost uh, 30 years old. So not worthless, but not something I usually go out of my way to look for or collect. Um, but again, I bought this entire lot, this entire group. Now, I did pay up for this. Uh, it's probably one of the more expensive collections that I've ever purchased. Um, but there were 36 cars, original cars, uh, inbox, matchbox. So I'm going to go through um, some of those original cars now and we'll see what all we got. So up first, in the number three matchbox series, Ben's Ambulance. Um, so original box, box is in really pretty good shape. Uh, a couple little creases here and there, but Nothing I would worry too much about. And uh, the reason I purchased this collection uh, was this. All of these cars are mint, original, unplayed with. Um, and this is something, this is sort of a, a grail for a lot of collectors, something that I've never had before. And that is the original little dude on the stretcher, little plastic dude. Um, I'm not aware that you can even get these reproduction. Uh, so if you don't have an original, you don't have one. Um, and this still has the, the dude on the stretcher. So as you can see, the cars, the decals, um, this has never been out of the box, never been played with. The light on the top is nice and shiny. No scratches on the glass. Um, so these are mint original cars. Uh, as I mentioned, I did pay up. For this collection, uh, several hundred dollars, um, but as it breaks down with 36 cars, not including any of the extras uh, that the seller threw in for me, um, I think I've got uh, about $13 per car in these. So, another ambulance here, number 54. Uh, this box has a little, little rash on it here. Looks like this uh, end flap was torn off. Um, again, that's a pretty easy repair and one that I've made several times on the channel. So that's something that I can fix. Um, but again, let's look at the car. All original, mint, never played with. Um, 
So really, really top quality stuff here. Very excited to, to get these. And uh, at $13 a car, um, I mean, every car in this collection is worth more than $13. So this was a really, really good buy for me. Um, got another one here, number 10, Matchbox Series pipe truck. We'll see if the trend continues, if all of these are as good as I think they are. Holy cow, look at that. Pipes, still on the sprue, never been broken apart. Still have uh, the original rubber bands to hold it on. Um, minty fresh, look at how beautiful that little model is. Awesome, awesome buy. And the box, the box is just as good. Everything's nice, crisp, nowhere, nothing on that box. Just an awesome little piece. Another, another good find. All right, um, let's see. Let's stay in the vein of the emergency vehicles. Got a number 29. Fire pumper truck, uh, Denver pumper. Let's see what this looks like. I feel like I'm folding these flaps for the first time because these are, this box is great. No issues at all with that. Perfect box, perfect condition. And look at the little model. That's about as minty fresh as they come. So super excited about this buy. Looks like it'd be a little, when I see stuff like this, when everything else I know that these are unplayed models, I, I see those little wear edges right there. And I don't think that's from play. I really think that is from the factory. And if you look, those are the high spots. But when this goes into the box, can see right there it rubs as it goes down the sides of the box and I really think some of those are are just there it's wear but I think it's wear just from sitting in the box so pretty excited about that little one another good find Let's see we got a couple other fire trucks in here number 57 Land Rover fire truck Let's see what we got here Very nice model. This one looks like it does have a little play wear. Can't tell, I, I can see the silver paint along the bumper here. I don't know if that grill would have been painted or not. Uh, looks like there's little dabs on the lights on the corner. But uh, one of the telltale signs if, if something's been played with or not are these lights on the top and you can see no wear at all on that. Um, Something, something rattling around inside of there. Not sure what that is. I'm, I'm bet, because they see the plastic base on this, I bet there's a little suspension piece in there that's probably broken, which is too bad. Looks like, I can't tell. I'm pushing back and forth. It looks like that's teetering in there, so maybe it's not the suspension piece. I don't, I don't know what that is, but there's obviously something loose rattling around inside of there. There's uh, some high edge wear on this as well. You see that little chigger right there on the roof. But all the decals look good. Look like they're in decent shape. It's got the ladder with it, so not a little bad find there either. Definitely worth 13 bucks. I'd, most of these I'd pay $13 just for the box. Um, so I felt like getting such a good collection with cars was a pretty good buy. Okay, so here's one of the sets of duplicates. Um, it's the same model, it's, they're both number 68s, but these are different boxes uh, from different issue periods. Um, I've got a couple of these, I've done a restoration of one on the channel, um, and it's, it's one of my favorite models. Uh, I've got, all the ones that I have are the original, the orange, uh, still hunting for a turquoise one. Um, this one's not in bad shape. Looks like it's got a little splash of silver paint right there. I think maybe that's the same silver. Just got a little booger on the edge. 
because there's not any play wear anywhere on this. So again, I think some of these later models from the factory probably had some of those little flaws and imperfections, but um, there's a little play wear on the roof here. A little, couple little scratches in there. I don't know if you can see those or not, but uh, these things usually you find all the the mullions and uh, grid work on the plastic. These, these plastic tops are broken a lot of the time. And this one is in really pretty remarkable shape. So good little find, beautiful box. I love the uh, original price stickers. I think this is actually a collection sticker. I think somebody was marking the standard code on this as a 2A. So that's a very, very desirable one to have. So if that's a 2A, this must be maybe a 2B. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Another pretty good shape model. Got a couple little spots back here. You can kind of see a little play wear. A couple scratches in there. Top about the same as the last one. A couple little scratches. And the scratches are all run in this direction. So I don't think that that's something probably that comes from the box, but overall really good condition. And, and like I said, for 13 bucks a car, um, pretty happy with quality on these. One of the uh, one of the hit or miss things with these, you know, when you buy a collection, you, you get everything. Um, and you, you like always, you'll have a couple things in there that are, are really good finds and you'll have a couple things that maybe don't quite live up to what you were hoping or expecting. But, you know, you take it all and that's uh, that's part of the deal. Um, but this is gonna conclude our part one. Um, there'll be a few more videos in this, but uh, like I said, I wanted to break this up over a couple weeks. Um, didn't want the video to end up being too long and I don't think everybody wants to watch me go through 36 cars all at once. So uh, for this week, this is gonna do it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Uh, don't forget to comment or uh, let me know if there's uh, any information that you have on these that you want to share. And uh, as always, join us next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.